Everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well on this uh what is today? Thursday evening. Um yeah, hope it's the week's treating you well. Hope it's winding down for you. If you, you know, do the Monday through Friday thing, we're almost there. If you don't, well, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I, I hope you do Tuesday through Saturday and you're still kind of close to there. Um maybe today's your hump day instead of Wednesday. I don't know. 
Either way, I hope you're having a decent week. I know mine has actually been kicking my butt. Um, work's been crazy, so we won't talk about that. But I am off next week. And unless something goes wrong and I somehow get called into work, which would be unfortunate, and hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, crossing my fingers, it doesn't. Hey, Buffy. Glad to see you here as always. Very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm sure we'll have Gray joining us here at some point, as he often does. So... Anyway, um, change things up, uh, as usual, again a little bit, um, almost got things where I wanted it, I think, but got the mic a bit closer, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay, um, let me know if not, I think I got everything set appropriately, so hopefully we don't have the hum when I talk, and also you can still hear me, it's always a balancing act, everything always is, um, oh, you can see my stormtrooper much better now, that's cool, happy about that, anyway, so, uh, Witcher 3. Last time we left off in the middle of... We're trying to find Horson Jr., who lives up to his name. And, uh, we're going through his casino looking for him at the moment. Playing Gwent, and as I've been skipping a lot of Gwent, namely I skipped a ton of it on Sunday's stream, my deck sucks and I'm getting my butt kicked, so I think I might call a little bit of an audible and leave the casino and go a different route on here, and or maybe play a few games of Gwent as we go along tonight. Not in the casino against players I'm more likely to be able to beat without, you know, having to redo it a couple of times and hope they get a bad draw while I get a good one. And improve the strength of my deck, because that's the smart thing to do. I believe a very intelligent soul suggested that uh, a few different times recently. Might have been my wife. Um, you know, don't tell her I said that. Not that, you know. It's a secret. She's not, no, she doesn't know I'm streaming and isn't watching. No. Anyway. Uh, so I think I'm going to take her advice. Part of it. I'm not going to do this stream dedicated entirely to Gwent because I'm just pretty tired and need a little bit more action than in a total Gwent stream, but that might be one of next week's streams um, just to kind of catch all that up and everything. Um, but tonight we'll do some Gwent outside of the casino. Anyway, I've been rambling on longer than I need to, so let's get on with the game. Then see what Dandelion tells us. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Oh, hey, Gray. You were watching. <laughs> yes, the deck strength must must be improved. Everyone is in agreement. So, leaving the casino, we shall. Leave the casino, we shall. Whatever. Gray, you'll have to let me know if the uh, mic hum is improved or hopefully eliminated. I didn't have time to give it a deep listen, so I don't know if I got rid of it entirely, but it should be improved at the very least. Alright, so find Horse on the Junior's hideout or Arena. Oh, where are they? Should hit up these two merchants, I might be able to play them in Glint. Um, okay, so... Casino... No. Arena... I don't remember the arena. Maybe we shall go there. It's an old one. Okay. Oh, Oops. I am indeed the Butcher of Blaviken, and I didn't mean to... Welcome! What can I get the honourable gentleman? New poo lanes, perchance? I've not got a true pair, Hit but the they'll button. be the same size. Um, show Fine. me what you got. Show me what you got. So, what don't I got? <laughs> Something for everyone, seek and you shall find. Cheap, too. He needs to just, like, look up a little bit. Uh, uh, 
fingers. He needs to look up and just let the rain wash some of that soot off his face. I mean, I would. Um, I need none of this crap. Can I sell him anything? Oh, I still need to swap out my trophy because it put on the stupid Foglet trophy when I got it. Broken ore. I'll do inventory management later. Play me in Gwent and lose and give me a worthwhile card to increase my deck strength. We get some cards and in if too. It's I'll be a happy I'm going to be pissed. Mainly because I've never had a worthwhile Scotel deck going, so. Like, I hate it when I get a good Scotel card because. I never use the deck because I never get enough good ones to make it worthwhile. Might quality is better, could stand some further tweaking, but definitely serviceable. Oh yeah, I definitely didn't get it there. I had... I moved it on my lunch today and was screwing with it for a bit up until the stream just to get... I pulled a lot of the gain out because I got a bit closer, but then I was like, wow, I'm too quiet, so I had to add a bit of wet gain after some gating and any anyway. So hopefully it sounds better and the gain's gone and you can still hear me and yeah, it definitely needs some more work. I just I got it to where I could that seemed tolerable to me in the time I had. Um I hate that Regis isn't a special and a 10, because he really should be. Alright. This guy can go bye-bye. Okay. Now I'm pretty happy with my deck, I think. Oh, Gray, how is your wife? I would have asked you in Darth's stream, but he didn't stream today, so I uh, wanted to make sure I remembered at this time. Hopefully she's doing a little bit better. is just bound and determined to give me as crappy a card as it possibly can every spy I use this hand. That's annoying. I kind of want to use one of them. Um, sadly, I don't have a Biting Frost, which would be the most useful right now. card back too, which I hate. Eh, screw it, he can have this one. He's already burned a couple of crappy cards anyway. Darth would say. It was actually the first thing that did pop into my head legitimately too. Spend too much time with British people. <laughs> oh my god! Literally, aside from giving me a good first draw, like, hand, every card it's given me has been absolute crap. Now I have two clear weather cards. Fabulous. That's just useless. On round three. Whatever. I'm over it. Probably not, actually, but...
Soul 10 also should be better than a 5. I mean, maybe not a 10, but... Like a solid 8. This is obnoxious, he's literally answering same for same. I don't think he'll be able to do that for much longer. I hope. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Saw that coming. of anything apparently but to be on the safe side since I can clear it later plus I'm still well ahead of him he's passed I'm um, Literally double his point, I don't even need to clear it. Huzzah! Now you can't see that arm. Huzzah! Talk to you from behind or in front of the counter. Greetings. As it should be. What have you got to pull? And how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. Been a loan shark long? Aye. Since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died. Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't seem all that unhappy about it. I guess that's one way to learn the trade. Show me what you got for the stock. kid. Change your life, a handbook, other. Okay. Something tells me it won't change my life, but... The real reason we are here. What would you say to a few rounds of Gwent? That'll help the old deck. Get rid of a decoy, I regret it, but 
I usually don't care that much about them unless they play a spy on me. How much you get for the child? Yeah. Well, they'd have to call in an expert to, you know, appraise the child. Verify that it re really is a child. Take some DNA to make sure it's human. Now I kind of wish I still had the decoy. Had the damn decoy, but still glad he burned that. That'll help. Uh, part of me wants to burn one more card just to, to hopefully. Eh, no. <laughs> Robert Wallace, former child. <laughs> Uh, nailed it. No oh, good, one of his crappy cards stayed on. Anyway, how's your wife doing, Gray? That seems like a strange decision, but whatever. shocked if you said she was a hundred percent I'm just glad she's doing better instead of the same or you know worse yeah hopefully I know like Buffy was saying the other Tuesday night I mean everything I know it can kick your butt and take a really long time to recover but as long as she's on the uphill slope now or downhill uphill in this case would be the good context. Okay, I was about to say for Flip's sake, how many of those does he have? Excellent. I know, I was like, I mean, technically we want her to be on the positive incline, but it's all uphill from here sounds bad, but all downhill would, yeah. I was like, hey, it's backwards of what we're normally saying, but yeah, you totally got where I was coming from. <laughs> huh. Clipping much? I mean, I did actually mean to jump up there because I wanted to loot whatever that thing was, but... Twas not in the cards. 
I actually wasn't trying to be funny either. What is it, Grey Boy? Looking for adventure? No, but I will decapitate. Ah, decapitation. That reminds me. I need to fix my trophies. Because I want to be dismembering. I'm not getting 5% bonus gold. Because that's just. A waste. Oop. Where is it? Where are the bandits? Oh, I didn't get there in time. But I can still kill them now. Hate it when I forget to release left shift to stop running and then it leaves them the power attack. And yeah, it's powerful, but it's also stupid slow. Okay, there we go. Certificate. Let it hereby be known that the bearer of this document is entitled to fight in the ring under the name of... Zdenik. Zdenik? Zdenik, I guess? Cool. I guess now I can fight in the arena. Change your life. A handbook. And so I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as libertine and brawler extraordinaire from Nazir with his myriad taverns into the wilds of Zeracania, used what strength I had to li had left to pull my craft ashore. The raft I had strapped together out of an old boot, bits of strap, and the burst barrel had taken so on so much water that two L's more and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Still don't know what an L is. Instead, I took on dry land and that was all that mattered. Ah, right. Guess my glasses here. Without a living soul in sight and my stomach growling something mighty, I began to explore. The isle was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartily, the juice nearly poured out my ears. And then I began to gather wood with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire that would warm me. How are you know, light said fire. It was then that I came upon the strange plant that would change my life till the end of my days. Ignorant of its value at this time, I frivolously used it for kindling. Yet as soon as it began to smolder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, I felt light and the coastal breeze whisked all my troubles away. <laughs> I devoted the subsequent years of my life to researching this miraculous weed and its properties. As a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of any who puts it into practice. Here's how to begin. <laughs> uh, I discovered weed. I know there's still more to read, but... Where did... Where, 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 oh, shady individual. I'm thinking that not apparent to you. I mean... Sure. You think the Assassin's Creed sale lasts till the 17th, but I'll double check later tonight. Uh, vengeance is just slow justice. Though. Or immediate, depends on how quickly you get your revenge, but yeah. Favorite slang for weed is jazz cabbage. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard jazz cabbage, but I do like that. Uh, I don't know if I got a decent card out of that or not. I shall check. Say that, and I'm actually shaping up to have a semi decent Skotel deck. Well, no, I don't still only have unit, eight unit cards, but. Um, I'm assuming since he was monsters, I got a monster, so. Kind of? Not really. I mean, it's only a four banger, but it is one of the summon others cards. If I have other vampires, so it's an okay card. Guard decks getting helpful.
still a ways away, though. Devil's Lettuce, I've always liked. You heard. I ride in Cleaver's ass. That one I've heard and intermittently used. I haven't actually thought about that one in a long time, though. Yeah, I'm just afraid to buy it on my PlayStation, because it's gonna die. Pretty sure. Then again, it is only nine bucks, but still. Greetings. Don't know you. Not letting you in. Now don't you fucking stand there. I got a letter, damn it. I mean, I kind of want to axiom just to cuz, but I do have a letter, so I will use the letter. Recognize this piece of paper? Uh, fight contract. Good, you can read. So who's this contract made out to? Says, uh, Stenic. Made out to Stenic. Mm-hmm. I'm Stenic. Any more questions? <sighs> In you go. Don't you go wandering. Straight to Eagle now. Fair enough. Who's Igor? Come on, get ready. Your turn now. I am ready. Uh, losers get paid anything. <laughs> losers get carted off to a cemetery. <laughs> Free burial? Ah, what are you looking at me cross eyed, Gray boy? You need to hold on for a moment. Can I resist the impulse to. Okay. There's nothing to really search. Alright, fine. Oop, there is. Not much. Going somewhere, friend. Yeah. To loot that stuff. That should have been very obvious. Be so oh. pale if you ate onions and oil. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind keeps blowing. I think he said I wouldn't be so pale if I ate cool. onions and That's oil it. or ale, maybe. On the guards, take a worse one out. Either way, I feel he's incorrect. Igor, I'm to talk to you. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? I think jumping... Yeah, I'm supposed to be being... Well... According to Dijkstra, Siggy Rubin, I'm supposed to be being, you know, kind of on the DL about this. According to Cleaver, go chop everyone's head off. I think I'm gonna go Dijkstra's route, because as I've said, he's intelligent. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience. I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. I kill monsters for coin. Been doing it all my life. Humans won't be a problem. A guard must fight sometimes, but that's not most important. The essential question is, can you control yourself? And can you control a crowd? Been taught how to slow down or speed up my heart rate, how to dilate my pupils and alter my metabolism. My medallion vibrates when danger's near, and I know a few simple spells. Mmm, I'll have to test you. <laughs> I want to see how you manage in a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. Okay. I can do that. Set me I was pretty sure I was coming here to fight Already anyway. Have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Let's Always do prepared. this. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Okay. Let's do this. I mean, I guess Ready your okay. purses! Betting is open! Depends on who I'm killing, forest, really. Where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water. A witcher! A murderous mutant! His opponent, last words? Gustav Rohn, a man who cut his way out of his mother's womb with a knife. As ever, a fight to the death. 
Kill! Got kids. Kill! Kill! You need the risks. The children. The Witcher wins. Okay. They actually do a bad about Born killing him now. In battle, I also kind of do. The Witcher to. versus the Hairy Brothers. Straight from the Wild Isles of Skellige. Sired by a mountain bear, they live to kill. Okay, these guys are going down like really easy. By the rates of more On level 12, they shouldn't be that easy. Time to end here. Okay. Block, girl, what the hell? Fine, whatever. No, or end like your brother. Never. The Witcher wins again! Next fight! The Witcher doing what he does best! Face to face with beasts! Trying to decide if I should have, like, maybe not been killing these people. Choices always have dire consequences for children. I know, right? I don't know, should I like travel back and Well now why are you doing me? Release the beasts! Thought it was three bouts, you bastard. What the hell? Yeah, part of me feels like I should like revert back and like not kill them. Cause yeah, I didn't want to kill the father of three. I mean, not really. Then again, I don't really know if he's a terrible person. Otherwise, he is fighting a hero and he's gonna kill other people. So I did get a ham sandwich. Sandwich. Who the hell's Boris? Especially for you. For the first time in a long time, what? Boris. What the hell? Really, Boris, the bear is the final. After you gave me brothers. I'm sorry, two of them, or you know, other than Boris the bear. It's fine, it's Yet just... Yet another win for the Witcher! Oh, hey, Marcia. You're fine. It's not really an on-time late thing. I mean, but yeah, I have a start time and all, but... I just appreciate you coming by. Bravo! Blowing scrag yeah, the furrow! Yeah, the bastard I wanted. They tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. Cyprian Wiley, known the most as Horson Jr., appreciates good handiwork. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand there like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? They're dwarves, one. Two, why are you suddenly wanting to kill me? You heard the man, kill him! I mean, it's fine, I was gonna help the dwarves and kill all of you anyway, but it's not the point. Ah! Kill us is all going to go badly now. Like, I don't remember going this way last time, but. Ah! Ah! No, nope, just a witcher.
What the fuck? I guess I just can't block him. Should search this hole. Cut off his damn head, though. Can I get a key? Floor is worn by a moving door. Something behind this wall. More than likely. It's not how fast you get there is whether you came at all. This is very, very true. Take a wrong turn in this quest somewhere. Not literally, and I went the wrong way in direction, but. Thorson Jr., King Radovid is unhappy with your performance. Oh, you're helping Radovid there, lunatic. You were to rid the city of the other members of the so called Big Four, yet not only do they still live, but they also now know of your role in their attempted assassination. That was not our arrangement. For the time being, hide in the place which the messenger delivering this missive will indicate to you and stay out of sight. His Majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the Big Four will finish the job which you attempted yet flubbed so badly. Oh, well, good, he's in the hot seat at least. Letter from Doodoo. Siri, if you're reading these words, that means you have solved my riddle, for which you have my congratulations. It also means you have not yet been caught nor are still in Novigrad, which worries me greatly. I do not know exactly what you did on Temple Isle, but Menge is furious and will not rest until he captures you, skins you alive, and burns you at the stake. And now that he's got his sanctimonious paws on Dijkstra's treasure, he can hire enough men to search every home in the city thrice over. I am a Doppler, so I will be able to hide, but you, you must flee while you still can, your doo-doo. P.S. Don't even think about trying to break Dandelion free from Menge's clutches, it's impossible. But knowing our friend, he'll wriggle his way out somehow, or at least I hope he will. P.P.S. Forgive me for not writing about how to contact me, but A. You are to flee, remember? B. Militele guards those who guard themselves. Contract missing soldiers. Let it be known that the Imperial Army is in need of a man who knows the area, a hunter or a scout, for example, to help us find a missing patrol. It is possible the soldiers fell prey to a monster. If this suspicion is confirmed, anyone delivering the beast's head will be paid a reward by the undersigned. Address and any and all questions to the same individual. Glory to the Emperor. Okay. So this is interesting. I, we must have picked this up when we were in what's his name's house that we were searching. Ah, uh, we got interrupted by the cutscene and didn't get a chance to read it. That's why. So now we know for sure that Mange has got dandelion. We basically knew he had the treasure, but now we really know. And with this letter that we found here, we now have proof that Horson's working with Radovid and in fact was trying to assassinate everybody else at Radovid's behest. That's probably useful information to do something with. Uh, we've already read that. I wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Probably not. But he will be happy to have that information. Perhaps even happy enough to help us out. Right. Find Horson's hideout. That's the one it's selected for us. Okay. First, I want to find out what that key opened. Actually, I know what the key opened. There's a locked door back here somewhere. I can go through all of these doors now. Okay, they don't go anywhere. Should 
which reminds you of watching Scooby-Doo back in the day and then and there's a blatantly secret door but the mystery gang can't see it yeah I'm assuming you sent that a little bit ago and I just didn't see it and you're referring to my bumbling around trying to find the handle to open said uh, that door Cause, yeah, that was bad. Oh. You guys are still at it? I still like that they're hench dwarfs instead of henchmen. from Igor. Since there's been some misunderstanding lately about the valuables and a bit of blood's been spilled for no plowing reason whatsoever, I'd like to reassure you, all the coin is safe and sound in the lockbox. The blind arsehole who thought it was missing was looking in the wrong place. Walk down the corridor leading from the upper level towards the arena, turn your backs to the grating and look to the wall opposite you. If you advise to see, you will find what you're looking for. Let me emphasize that Horsum Jr.'s crowns have not been touched. Not a single copper's missing. I swear in my own handsome head that they're secure and waiting to be picked up. Igor. And that must be what I already found. I'm gonna guess. Just because it's fun to punch him to death sometimes. everywhere in this place. Not worth trying to get up there too. Probably not anyway. Red to red, yellow to yellow, and white to white. That ain't fine. Okay. Just for the fun of it, anyway. Mm. Wrong way. Stairs. They say when the corpse is turned up, no eyes in its head. So find horse and side out. They curve now. Where is Horson's hideout? 
So that's all the way up there. I decided if I should go do that before I go talk to Dijkstra. Or after. I'm gonna go talk to Dijkstra. Tread, no Actually, regrets, I no lied. I am gonna go to Horson Jr.'s hideout first. Anybody have any plans for the weekend? I don't really have anything going on, but... Oi, Conker! Talking to me? Shut up, ass munch. He's called me an ass munch. That's funny. This weekend, although I'm off work next week, so it's, I mean, well, obviously I'm streaming on Saturday. So yeah, everybody come watch me stream on Saturday at 10.15 uh, Arizona time, 9.15 Pacific. Today is 5.15 Greenwich Mean Time. Um, what's this? Greetings! You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. <laughs> Move that one along. We're not gonna go do that right now, but... May as well do that while we're here, now we know we where to meet her. Not working, taking care of the sick wife, nothing planned aside from that. No. Oh, are you off this weekend? Nice. For some reason I thought you were one of those that, uh, <clears throat> did not have weekends off. Or your weekend was a different part of the week. I'm glad you're off. Sorry you have a sick wife to take care of. Well, more just sorry your wife's sick. But... Well, maybe in between you can catch up on some more shows that you've gotten behind on since you've been doing that more than gaming lately. What's next on the docket for watching, by the way? Oh, okay. Maybe you were just commenting about, you know, how revered Friday is for those that work at, you know, those that don't, you know, it's not. Maybe I thought since you were making that comment a few days ago that perhaps you worked weekends and were off different days. Else the rocks will congregate to feast. Okay. Poor old Steve's thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Was the dwarves who caught snow white cherry? Fuck shoot. Greetings. Ah, you're <laughs> Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. 
You in charge? I don't know if I'd call us mates, but looking for Junior. Aha. Welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club. <laughs> Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? Nope. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Junior to a get together with his mates. Mm, yes, it's I'm sure that's exactly right what you had planned. Acknowledged the ancient right of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look so around. So who's actually here well, since Horson wasn't you. that you were talking to? Witcher as my debt collector. Oh, come on! Fuck off! God damn it! Ooh, nice razors you got there. Thank you. Nothing interesting here. Well then why in God's name do you make me search it? Dwarves were thorough as death has been scrubbed clean, didn't leave a scrap. All right, I guess now it's satisfied. There's nothing to find here. Or then a nominal something or other, possibly. From a loot perspective. You see in the dark, and you're sturdy. Make a fine load sniffer if you weren't so tall. Make a fine what sniffer? Searching the areas. You started his dark materials. It's not really grabbed me so far, but you're giving it a chance. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't think I've even heard of it. What, what's that one like? You think you're going to start on some of the yard work, get it done before it gets too hot? No. He has a point there. Yes, if only your husband liked to do yard work, but alas, he does not. Smart man. Ah, let it ride. Onward to commiserate with Dijkstra. Looks like rain. Weather. Oh, that's right, I have to go down here, down the bridge, and then back around. Based on the trilogy of books from like 20 years ago, remember the movie The Golden Compass? That was the original adaptation. I don't think I remember that movie. Um, Actually, all I'm thinking of is the Golden Child, the terrible Eddie Murphy movie. I don't think I remember the Golden Compass, though. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? The only thing Why, I can say to you, Orson apparently. Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit.
I did get it from a reliable source, but I'm more curious about that. Are you falling out with Redania? My sympathies have now to do with this. Orson wiped his ass with our agreement. That's betrayal, regardless of his current allegiance. That is true. Need someone who can get me into C Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redaniums. I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell. Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I think I went. must have gone a slightly different way with this quest last time. I guess I can't loot him, I just have to look all the way up. It's unusual. But, alright. So now I need to go meet with Vernon Roach, like which I did last playthrough. I just, I think this went a slightly different way. Like I remember the things with Horace on Junior. I don't know. It's been long enough. Maybe I'm just not remembering it going exactly this way. Plus, there's so many branching ways things can go in this game. I might have just done things a little bit differently. This one is apparently more faithful, but to you it's a bit subpar for HBO standards. This is the same company that did Westworld and Game of Thrones. Significant quality dip by amount. Uh, well, maybe it's a lower budgeted series because they don't expect it to do as well. Possibly. That would be my best guess, but... Oh yeah, I need to get that Pops mold antidote out of my... Inventory and get Swallow back in there. Um, wherever it is... Oh wait, no. That's not it. I'm gonna put my bottled water back in there. Or water, whatever. Alright. And swallow. I had golden oriole in there. Eh, actually, golden oriole is pretty useful all around, so I'll just leave it in there. That actually works. Hmm, thought I saw something else pop in there, but I guess not. Anyway. So, Count Reuben's treasure, meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbor around midnight. What else we got going on? Nope. I failed that part, but that's fine. Again, I don't really feel like going in all hot and killing everybody before it's necessary. Is it the haunted house again? Oh, this should be interesting. And while I'm by Hierarch Square, there's a couple more people I can play in Gwent, so maybe tonight will be the Gwent playing stream. Even though I said it wasn't gonna be tonight. If my uh, current audience doesn't mind too terribly much, hopefully. Ah, you're back. Indeed I am. <laughs> Play me cards, maybe? Is that like, call me, maybe? Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Of course, your Skoatel. Of course, that doesn't always mean I'm gonna get a Skoatel card from him. 
You would think so, but not always. Uh, fine, I've got... I've got a spy, so I'll keep the decoy. Speaking of Westworld, my wife and I watched the first season. We need to actually watch two and I want to say there's a season three. I'm not sure. There's one we need to go back and watch. Kind of forgot to. Um. Nice. Since it's a special card, I wonder if I can take it. I can't. That's unfortunate. If you're not watching too closely, you're mostly keeping you in company while you work. Ah, fair enough. You're good with me playing Gwent Buffy? Alright, well, maybe this will be a largely Gwent dominated stream. Um. We'll progress the quest a little bit, but we'll get a lot of the Gwent out of the way since Buffy doesn't mind. Gray, I'm mostly keeping you company at work anyway. Um, yeah. on this round, I have to say. Fork. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Oh, yeah. That was st stupid. All right, so I'm eight points over him. What can I get rid of? Okay, I'll take you back. Is no good in round three anyway. This dude's either got a vicious deck or he's got a vicious hand.
That one went poorly. could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. We're already working on it. All right, that's fine. Didn't really take me back much. Still, though, we'll go back to Hierarch Square and. I'm not gonna play him again just yet, because. <laughs> apparently, a little bit above my. abilities. Save. There we go. How can I be of service? He did, a, he, like I said, either he had a vicious ass desk or he just had the most vicious hand he could have gotten out of his deck. Either way, I mean, he, like, my deck's not that bad at, at the moment. He just had. You well, hell, he had a 15 you? card. Oh, I didn't, sure. don't even remember there being one, maybe it? one or two Do in the game. I believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mineshaft in my cellar. So you play or not? I I play. And then what are y'all up in arms about, damn it? So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not? Are you laughing at his up in arms about the stereotype and then saying, yeah, I play, or... It's a guy's vicious ass deck. Uh... Okay, I don't regret that. Worked out alright. See, Dandelion only being two is very appropriate, but also, you know, being the morale booster. See, that makes sense for Dandelion. Gear. Yes, gear. Yeah, he did have a vicious deck. <laughs> that, that deck comparison beforehand would have been a handy feature there. Just saying. should have passed this hand. In hindsight. Hmm. 
annoying. <laughs> True. Seriously. Thought it was Vesemir. Some shoddier players, will ye? Once you've learned a few tricks, come back for a rematch. I mean, he's right, but still. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neiromancer. Sorry, folks, I didn't quite finish my dinner, so I'm taking a bite Tilly or two on camera. Kareem. Bear with me. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Maybe the armor? He's not here. Alright, well. Oh. Cultist? Hey, you! Yes, you! You got water on the brain! I don't know who he's talking to, but. We'll go knock out this quest, go back to the haunted house real quick and see what's in store for us this time. Plus, it's a lovely night for a stroll through Novigrad streets, isn't it? Braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. Not down here? Okay. I don't know why I thought they'd be down there, but... 
at least whoever it is that's talking to me, I know, but... Witcher? Witcher? At least she's happy to see me. Look who's come! <laughs> Indeed, it does look like rain in the wind is howling. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Insightful. Interesting little tidbit. The worlds of the words of Geralt that we periodically get throughout the game. Yes, you're spot on, Buffy the does look like rain and the wind is definitely howling. See? Look at all the rain and the wind. Something we don't have here right now. Well, not the rain. Where's my nearest fast travel? Go here, see if I can play him, then go to my stash, and then I'll fast travel outside of the walls. Oh. Oh. Excellent goods at the lowest prices. If some mugs got it cheaper, you can be sure the scandals put sawdust in its flour. Looked flower. like he was about to get Interest robbed, you in a but in a fritter? No. Mind if I have a fritter. look? Thank you. It's got a strange assortment of goods, I have to say. At least they give you a variety of food in the game. I mean, it's good and bad, partially, like, makes it hard to get a quantity of something, but... Harder, anyway, but... A decent amount right now. I say that that won't go all that far at this stage, but oh, sorry, the bark machine's going. Not sure why. I would like to Take play cards, but first. Why can't I save? Oh, probably autosave. Finish your autosave so I can real save. Maybe because I can't confirm that autosave was what was happening. Greetings! Aloha. Not so interested in goods. 
but I'd sure like to play some cards. Another Skoatel. Uh, don't need to clear with our cards. Well, that was a crappy trade on that one. This one. Oh, that wasn't the way to do it. I'm gonna keep making you burn cards though. idea I've ever had, but whatever. something level the counts back out but, well, not level them back out but even them back out slightly Seriously? Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an Oneromancer, and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. 
Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Rain tomorrow Siri, Eve, the there. Supposedly. Well, I guess you'll find out in roughly 24 hours whether or not it, uh. <laughs> oh, naked. Greetings! Whether or not it's accurate. Alright, good. I actually meant to click farewell, but damn it. Not Whatever. so interested in goods, but I'd sure like to play some cards. Yeah, fine. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. And... Anyway. Yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oniromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Siri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. That's what I thought I was gonna be interrupting a minute ago and Temple Guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town. It is a good show. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't. Decapitation. We'll go that way. This man's not worth your efforts. Yeah, I got me a lot of XP. shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered a bugger. My apologies. Fared me well. I, uh, got to go brush my teeth. <laughs> uh, an interesting excuse home, to get out of the, uh... Try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. Was that in reference to my, uh, kind of sad Law & Order joke that I couldn't resist slipping in there? Mm. Must have been. Speaking of which, you're like... My wife mentioned that the other day she saw it. I don't remember what she was browsing in, but she saw a Law & Order UK. No, I did. Well, I knew it was a thing, but literally as of less than a week ago, I knew it was a thing. It was... It was one day last week that my wife brought it up because she was looking through one of the streaming services, we have a few, and saw it and she's like, did you know this was a thing? I was like, no, and we've been on a real non-US, largely British or UK show kick lately, particularly their police shows. So we'd really like it because it seemed like it'd be up our alley from from that perspective and also it's a law and order and I've liked most of the law and orders, so Oh, Amazon. That must be where she was browsing around. Sorry, I missed that word when I was reading your message the first time. So she was probably looking around Prime too and saw it. But yeah, so we're gonna end up watching it. We haven't yet. I expect it to be good, because I typically like, like I said, law and order and um typically like British police shows, so... Probably sell that this tech. Surprising you don't have all that many repair kits on me. Oh well. Thought I had more crap to put in there than I did. Oh god! 
The Reapers come for me. But yeah, I'm excited for it because, well, yeah. Again, Law and Order, British show, combine the two, and it sounds like. Well. The combination of things I like. I can think of an intelligent way to say it. I got distracted by this question mark that's right there that I can't resist going to get before we travel to go play the rest of the Velen Gwent players. Because I should at least be able to beat them, because I did play everyone in White Orchard, so Velen would be the next step. I missed one thing in there accidentally, but I didn't. Is there any buckthorn down here by chance? I need to make some cologne. Really, I just need some more buckthorn so I can make my, uh, not white gold, but the killer whale so I can hold my breath on breath longer. Aha. I think I needed Five. There's. Well, this will make three. I want to say I already had one on me. Maybe not. Either way, it's a little bit more buckthorn now. And then there's a gate over there. Huh? There we go. It's probably where I went in. White Chapel. Sounds for I don't think so. Is that a another British police detective show? It sounds familiar, but I'm pretty sure I haven't watched it. I think the name's making me think of a different one that I did. Maybe. To Oriton we go. If it is, I shall write it on my list. So I've got a few things be between you and Steve. Mostly you and Steve. Occasionally other people recommend it, but... White Chapel. Is it actually all one word, or is it supposed to be two words? Hopefully I can beat this old bugger. Sounded bad like I was gonna beat him up or something. What about Great you? Games. Can I play you and Gwent as well? Yes. Let's play you first. You might be a little bit easier. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Mid 2010s, pretty good. But it follows the police department in Whitechapel, a.k.a. where the Jack the... Ah, okay, that's probably why Whitechapel sounded familiar. I'm writing it down. Yes, and my wife and I are both off this weekend. Maybe we'll catch up. Or not catch up, just well catch up and just watch some shows a bit. Cause I've been so busy with streaming and work and doing things for stream in between. We haven't had much time to spend together lately, so I think Kira should be slightly more powerful than that. Also, she's not, wasn't all freckly. Nothing against the freckles, but just you'd think they would. A lot of them don't really look like the actual characters and such in the game. All right. So I've got a spy. All right, that's a good thing. I think I'm happy with this. Of course, now that I say that, I'll lose again.
So I'm guessing it follows the police department in Whitechapel during the Jack the Ripper murders, so it's more of a period type, or is it in common, or is it in current times and just takes place there? takes place in modern times. I'm guessing that's what you meant by nope. Mm. Current 2010s, but there's a copycat killer all these years later so that it makes it interesting. Ah, okay. It does actually sound pretty interesting and now I'm intrigued and want to watch it, so I shall. Any idea what um, streaming service it's on? It's fine, if not, I can find it easily enough. Um... I'm just gonna pass. So they're essentially hunting Jack the Ripper again, but with all the previous knowledge of his crimes and with modern tech. Yeah, that's a cool way to put a spin on it. I'm definitely interested. Oh, fine, I can do that too. Only once though, so don't have more than one of those like all your... Or do dick. HBO Max. I'll have to look and see if it's on anything else. Now you give me the decoy. Cause I, we don't have HBO, it's one we don't have. I don't think anyway. No, we don't. See if it's on anything else because now I'm intrigued and want to watch it. clear weather. I mean, it's fine, because I was going to do it anyway. I just don't understand why... Why 
they would burn it. I guess there's a method to my madness on that one. I just want to get them to burn all their cards out so I see where I stand. And we want to wait as late as possible to pop this so they can't come back and screw me with it after the fact. Shit, I'm gonna lose. shouldn't have been this hard because he's in theory somebody that I would have been playing that you know a little bit sooner than now really and I've beaten a few other players since so that that's frustrating wounded and tired Siri collapsed in the swamp some peasants found her and took her to the Baron Vellum's self-appointed ruler the warlord took the young woman in had her nurse back to health, and sent her on her way to Novigrad. Speaking of movies and shows, I'm dandelion saying Warlord made me think of Lord of War. That's a great movie. Have you ever seen that one, Grey, or Buffy, or Marcia, anybody? Greetings! Seems like it would be up your alley, Grey, and probably Buffy, for sure. But it sounds like you both like. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. the movie it's just so well done Nick Cage does a great job I don't want to go first actually since I have that it's fine I'm just gonna keep all my cards. Let them do whatever they're gonna do. You saw it, but it's been a while. Still get one more card, there we go. Oh, effectively two. Alright, I'm in good shape now. Oh, at this point, it's basically game on, it's the last round, so. 
don't have to be all that strategic because I'm going to burn them all in one way or another. I'm not behind for the moment. Not entirely sure why they would have cleared that weather effect, but because it, well, because they want to play their cards. Still, though, kind of dumb because yeah, whatever. Not that I have to, but now I just kind of want to rub it in. So I go from getting my losing convincingly to kicking his ass. Mm, not complaining. Really? I didn't get either of those awesome cards that he had? That's just frustrating. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I already looked at your stock and you didn't have any Gwent cards. Farewell. Now save. Okay. Ah! It's fine. I'm I think I'm trying to talk to him. There we go. Of course not. Wench dragged me some points so I'd make her a cradle. Boat business not booming? Not well at all. Ain't no fish. Well, that would kill the business. So the players have to make the sound effects when they change the weather? <laughs> Maybe. Since this is a card game placed on a table in a medieval setting. Heard yeah, I guess they right. I mean they would. He's an even better card player. You wanna play? I do. Always ready for a round.
And that's the card I got from the guy. A five banger and a monster. This... <sighs> well, shut up about it, because complaining about it's not going to change it. Oh my god, really? Fucking worst draw ever. a little bit. God damn it. Considered considering the hand I started with, now I'm back to an okay hand. Still kind of a crappy hand. And he's Nelf Guard, so he's gonna win the time. And he can draw one of my discards. Nifty. now that we've evened up the card counts anyway, and at least he burned a good one.
Well, give him a wretched but ass hand that I started with. Round here they say bad luck at cards means good luck at love. Proven true in my case. When shall I live with? It's not fit for nothing. <laughs> uh, given the oh, really, 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 really bad hand I started Some with there, I didn't lose now, that badly. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, and sent her on her way to Novigrad. Oops. Build your boats in Pinewood? Of course not. Boat business not- Not well at all. Heard you're a good boat, right? Wanna play? Always ready for a round. Really good detail on the back of his neck being all weathered and wrinkly. Travel. So tell me. That's actually a decent hand. Apparently we're both going to do this same dance here in the beginning. Two things happens, he burns cards to beat me and evens it up, or he does that and I can win and we are even on cards either way and I have a roundup on him, so it's kind of a win-win for me regardless on that. Other than the fact that the card I got was a flipping impenetrable fog. It's just annoying. in there and I already burned it. That's why. Okay. Oh. 
Ah, crap. Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. Did still give me nine points, so it might balance the fact that he got two cards out. Or it might not. That's about all I can do, cause I might be icing myself worse than him, and yeah. So I guess I'll pass and hope for the best, depending on what he has in his hand. But you needn't get your breach. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. That was just frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Build your boats in pine wood. Boat bit. Not while I heard you're a wanna play. Always ready for a round. Try to win them all, but you won't. Not the greatest hand I got that time either, but it could be worse. And it's worse. Of course he had another decoy. No, that was just a pile of shit, wasn't it? You goddamn archers.
Really? This is starting to get ridiculous. Okay, that's a crock of shit. time he's getting every one of these cards in his hand. I would just kill him and take every card he has, but it's not an option. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, and sent her on her way to Novigrad. See, what's frustrating about this is I've played basically all the people I was supposed to play up to getting to this guy, and then a few in Novigrad, and he's still just beating the crap out of me, and I can't do anything about it, and it's just... exceedingly irritating. This is John Pain once yeah? Let me see what you're offering. But I'm not gonna continue to keep playing him and repeatedly losing because it's. Ah, no. Kind of pointless and. Technically defining insanity. Mm. Yeah, it's not good enough to worth be worth. Is it worth dismantling? No, no. I wish you could multi-select for this to sell. Be convenient. I mean, it so is the actual definition of insanity to be repeatedly doing the same thing, expecting a different oh, result. Now, in this case, it's fair to expect a somewhat different result to a degree because he shouldn't get the exact same draw every time. I'm certainly not, but he was. And one to 
play in Claywitch? Or anyone selling any cards, perhaps? What about the barber? Does he play cards? Greetings to you. So, in for a share. No. So long. Wanted to see if you'd play me in cards, but you won't. See if the traveling merchant plays cards and or has any Gwent cards to sell. Uh, freak. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. No good. Farewell. I don't even know where I'm running off to. Bethesda games coming to Game Pass tomorrow. I heard about that. Look like some good games on there, and I'm guessing now that they've everything's merged, you can I can get Game Pass on. Actually, I think I always could have been able to. Where is the stupid? No, oh, there is. So I think I can get Game Pass, and I think that applies to PC and Xbox. Don't actually know how much Game Pass costs, and if it's worth it. Well, I mean, it's a good value because I think it, I'm pretty sure Game Pass is a monthly fee. It is a good value for the games that you're getting from what I saw. It's just a function of does it apply to me in that sense at the moment. We'll see how many I don't know. It's not exactly burst him, but what I got sure to please. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I need to see if it's stuff I don't already own that I would want to play. And even then, I, I might wait a, a bit because I've got plenty of games that I already do have. Okay, I've already played him in Gwent. Farewell. Oh. Do I look at all familiar, Master Witcher? You do. My associate and me, you were kind enough to save us from the very guards I myself had hired, no less. All right. Rings a bell now. Get to your destination, all right? We well, did. Seem so. And He's we here. were lucky to, for the trade proved surprisingly robust. I've new goods now, if you're interested. Naturally, at a sizable discount. It's Naturally. Show me what you've got on offer. It's not a bad price for those, although I'm pretty sure I win them later. So long. Closer. Don't be shy. You'll find out everything So my general plan in coming to Crow's Perch was to play. I think the um Quartermaster, that's the word I was looking for. And the blacksmith, or the armorer and his wife. 
who just thoroughly thrashed me earlier in the game. That was a lot earlier, so maybe I can beat them now and get some decent cards from them. I've already played you and Gwent. Do you have any cards? Show me what you got. No. Well, you do, but... I'll take another decoy just cause. Alright, um... Is any of that worth... Getting... Not really. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check out Game Pass and see, uh... See if it's worthwhile for me. Help me, I assist you. Actually, before so, that, there we go. Help me, I assist you. Play me and Gwent and lose. Yearning to play. Give a few me a really, really, Gwent. really good card. That ought to send me straight. Realms, ideally. Spies, that's good. Yeah, at least I got two decent trades for a change. Somewhat, anyway. You know, console has a ton of games. You think the PC version has a decent selection too, but you haven't looked. Yeah, I want to say the PC selection scaled back to a degree. I just don't know by how much. Could be wrong on that, but I want to say I've heard that from multiple places. People, anyway. This one's going much better than many others have. Oh, wait, I just won. Yeah, we... Okay, this is the third round, and he just passed. And he's... Okay. I'll take it. Remember he destroyed me when I played him earlier on, like, badly. Hmm. 
Ne? Actually, no, it's a fairly shitty card because it's a spy with seven points. I still can't use that deck. Really can't use that deck yet. Nowhere near. Yeah, I'm nowhere near being able to use any deck other than this one still. Unfortunate. Soon enough, though, they'll, they're expanding it so that you can stream console games to PC similar to how Stadia works. You have Game Pass Ultimate, so you can already stream console games to your phone. Stream console games to your PC. So basically, it's running on your console just through your PC. Like, is it actually using the power of your PC, or is it using the power of the console to run the game? I'm assuming the console. And yeah, on that note, I think that's a good place to wrap up. Finally won another Gwent round. Leave it, we'll win on an up or we'll we'll quit on an up note tonight while we're Actually we're probably behind on number of games won versus lost. Not probably, I know we are, but we're ahead for this particular moment in time, so we'll 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 call it good and quit for, for tonight. Um no, but it's neither. They have virtual consoles set up in their data centers that emulate the console and stream it. Oh. Interesting. I wonder how well that works. Like, if I'm playing it on the PC, I wonder... Well, either way, it bypasses... Huh. Curious as to how that works, I guess, is where, where, my, where, where I'm gonna leave it. Cool, nonetheless, but yeah, I'll have to check out Game Pass and see if it's um, worth me getting. But anyway, yeah, that seemed like a good place to wrap. We won, we won a game. We cleared off some of the Gwent playing we needed to do. Not a ton of it because we kept losing, but at least our deck's slightly stronger and we're winning some more rounds. Uh, although to be fair, you can stream from any from your console to another device if needed. Good for games like Skyrim where you have mods installed and such. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll definitely check it out and uh, see. But, so, anyway, yeah. Thanks guys, Buffy, Marcia, and Gray for being willing to uh, let me do a little bit of an audible tonight and do a little bit of the quest, but mostly just do some Gwent cleanup. Seemed like a good night for it since it was, uh, you know, Light on viewers and Gray was just watching in the background while at work, so it seemed like the right night to clean up a little bit of it. Didn't get quite as much of it cleared off as I would like, simply because kept losing. Um, but anyway, deck's a little bit stronger, cleared off a little bit, so we'll take it from there. And uh, yeah, so next stream, probably trying to pick back up with the main questing a little bit and look for Dandelion. That will be Saturday at nine or ten fifteen Arizona time for you, Gray. Uh, that'll be nine fifteen Pacific, um, twelve fifteen Eastern, and uh, I believe five fifteen PM uh, GMT. So yeah, hopefully everybody can come by on Saturday and watch Hangout. As always, I'm sure it'll be a, a bit longer stream as we have more time. Um, don't have work the next day and all that good stuff. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, and as always, thank you guys for hanging out. Had fun. Um, even though I got a little frustrated there with Gwent toward the end. Uh, nonetheless, I had a good time. Always enjoy playing the game. Always enjoy my streams, even when I'm beat uh, after work. I actually look forward to the streams. So, I guess that means I enjoy doing it, I would say. But, anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. And I will uh, hopefully see you all on Saturday. Actually, Gray, I'll probably see you tomorrow in Darth's stream, assuming he is. And then, uh, hopefully I'll catch you on Saturday, too. 
Anyway, everybody uh, have a great rest of your night. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it's the start of, well, after work, it'll be the start of your weekend. And I will see you all on Saturday. Night, folks.